So this is my second attempt to do a video at the lake house. We are here for the 4th of July weekend. And as you can see, we are in the forest on the lake in Charlotte, North Carolina better known as God's country. Don and Tiffany bought this place a couple of months ago. And they have a lot of work to do, including buying a boat. But they have got the house and they're making great progress actually. But there's lots to be done when you own one of these properties because it takes a good bit of a, a good bit of abuse from the elements and uh, it just uh, it's a lot of work. It's definitely no place for old men unless you're in like super good shape and you got good knees which uh, neither of those apply to me but uh, that land across the lake there is a coal-fired power plant which is being decommissioned and uh, Thanks to Biden, we're not going to have any electricity anymore. But uh, my understanding is that that, that uh, shale pit there, or ash pit, is going to be landscaped into a mountain. So it looks like they may get a free mountain, a free mountain view from that westerly direction after it's all said and done. But according to Tiffany, she's going to die here. So I guess the time element's not a big deal. I'm shooting back into the sun this morning and I did not bring my filter on this trip. So I don't know if you can see the house. Hopefully you can. I got my sunglasses on and it looks pretty dark. I may have to do another video in the afternoon when the western sun is giving us a better view of the house but it's a beautiful house with a you know screened in back patio that runs all the way across the house two of them actually well one of them is open obviously as you can see and one of them is screened and one of them has all the things you need up there inside the patio. They've got a grill with a hood on it so you can actually grill inside. And I'm going to try to get a better view of this from down below. We'll see. This was a river. And uh, it was dammed, of course, hydroelectric, and uh, turned it into a lake. It's kind of an unusual lake in that it's still within the boundaries of the old river. They didn't flood everybody out when they dammed it. And so it's a long, skinny lake. Tiffany and Allison trying their luck at fishing. Well, Allison is. Tiffany's just walking the dog. But uh, this is another view from down here. Let me see if it's a better one of the house. I'm having trouble even seeing well enough to focus. But hopefully you can see it without a filter. I'm ill prepared for this trip terms of video purposes 
I didn't really plan to do much video work up here. And this will probably be the only video I do. It's about 15 minutes to Charlotte from here, so it's not as remote as it appears on the video. And actually, there's major developments going on just up the road here, about a mile. There's a riverfront development that's being done here. Multi-billion dollar development that's going to be up there on the other side of the road. So, I don't think it's going to impact them that much, <clears throat> except for traffic, of course. But, uh, as you can see, it's too bad you can't feel the soft wind and the beautiful uh, breeze off the water. Because it really makes a huge difference. It can be a hundred degrees up on the road a mile away from here. You come down here to the house. And the lake, and it's about 20 degrees cooler with a prevailing westerly wind across the river. So it's actually quite nice. If I can get down this damn bank without breaking my leg or falling into the lake. Mason! Hey! You want to be on the video? <laughs> this fellow that lives here, the neighbor, he raises ducks and Canadian geese both. And that's some of his offerings here on the lake this morning. They have a nice house here. It's a smaller house, older house, but it's uh, just, a, it's a, they don't live here full time. It's just a uh, lake house. The neighbor on the other side, uh, they're full-time residents, but uh, but they're not much into this uh, outdoor activities. They've been here a long time, so they're over they're over all the uh, work associated with these lake activities. The one down here, a couple of houses over, is probably the most. Uh, one of the most expensive homes on the lake. You can see it sitting up there on the hill. It's an all brick house, two story. Really a very nice place. And uh, they've done an amazing job with that site. They have really put a lot of money into their work on this, uh, on the site here. The guy, the guy that owns that owns a commercial uh, construction company. And so he has access to the equipment and everything that you need to really do this work because Working on these mountain sites like this is not easy. And it's very dangerous, actually. Mason wants to chase those ducks so bad. How's the fishing going, Allison? I'm not fishing. Your worm's all tangled up. What's up with that? I'm not fishing this well, your, your, your bobber probably needs to be up further on your line. It's a little too close to your bait. You going swimming with the ducks, Tiffany? No. <laughs> Good boy, Mason. Good boy. Quack, quack. They're looking for some bread. Mason, you looking for some duck? All right, that's it. Say goodbye, Ellis. <laughs> Say goodbye to all your fans, Allison. <laughs> look at my fish. But don't worry about oh, your fish. Oh, look at Mason. Mason, look. Yeah, well, don't hook him, because that'll be a lot of fun. 
Mason, Mason, up here. Mason.